Hi, and welcome to the Crystal Practice Management Advanced Editing of the Medical Records. Uh, in order to edit the records, first we have to get to the Edit Records page. To do that, first we just load any patient, click on the records, select any random patient. Then once the record page is loaded, we say EHR and Edit Medical Records. It will prompt you for a password if you're using the demo, or uh, if you don't have a password to sign, it's just the OK button. There's no password set. But it basically creates the two windows. This small window controls all of the fields in their drop-down boxes. This large window controls the template location. Uh, for this demonstration, I'll be creating a new tab. So we just hit the New Tab button. It's going to put it all the way to the right. Uh, since this obviously is all the way filled up, there's a little arrow key. Let's click on that new tab. The name of this tab is we're going to call this the test. It's going to prompt you, change this the name of this tab will change its previous history. If you haven't been using our medical records, it's not a problem. If you have been, it's going to when you change it, it's not going to you know which one of your old records was on which tab. So do contact us if you want to change those. We'd have to have one of the uh, programmers get in there and actually change it and modify it for you. For the testing, uh, here's the testing tab. All I want to do is go and uh, now create some fields for it. So on here we have text with one line, two line, four line, text only, checkbox, picture box, button, diagnosis code, procedure code, or numerical value. So depending on what you want to have on here, what I'll do is first create uh, a new field just by clicking the Add New Field button. Here's the text. Let's call this our test field. And we're going to have uh, just a one line box. And I'm going to go ahead and just create that field first. So when I create this field, it's going to put it on here just like it is. I can, the way I move it is I just click on the box and I can drag it around with my mouse. Or if you want to move multiple boxes, just highlight them both. Basically click uh, on the background and move your mouse to where it highlights the box. And then you can use your arrow keys to move multiple boxes. Also on here, I'm just going to create a couple of the different uh, types of fields. So let's say another one, we'll call this one test two and we'll make this a two-line box. And I will just add that in. Drag it basically over to the left. And then I'm going to say we'll also do a test three. And this will be with the four-line box. And I will add that in. So a lot of uh, times when you're editing these fields, it's very easy uh, to worry about the alignment to make sure they get exactly put the right way. To do that, all we have to do, uh, if you want to have it auto-align, is just highlight those with the box. Again, just select those. I'm going to select all of the field location, field boxes. Now that they're all highlighted, we have a couple quick keys that will auto-align it. One is, uh, if we want to align them to the left, all we do is press the Alt and the L button. The Alt is right next to the key, uh, space bar on most keyboards. So hold that down, Alt, and press L. It will auto-align it to the left. Same thing as... Uh, True the other way is you want to align it to the right, highlight all the fields, say Alt-R, it will automatically align it to the right. And it's going to highlight it to the one that's selected in blue. Uh, also, we can do, if we want to have these lined up exactly to the uh, same height, we can say uh, highlight these two fields, Alt-T does the top, Alt-B does the bottom. So what I'm going to do is try to make these look very clean. Uh, let's say let's align these all to the bottom, then I'm just going to drag it down. And I'm going to highlight this one and say Alt-D, align it to the bottom, and put it down. Let's also make sure these tests are all lined up. So let's find those. And if you also want to move multiple links to the boxes, like I'm going to highlight these, plus or minus, have the fields grow or shrink. So let's say let's make all these fields very big. So that's just very uh, simple, adding the fields and changing the length of the fields and aligning them up. The next step is to see some of this transferring information. Uh, you probably noticed on the other edit records page, we have a lot of what's called buttons to be able to send things over. A common one is uh, on the review of systems, we have a previous button. A lot of offices like to do that. Also for the exam, if you want to do previous for just one section, it will automatically pull those over. Uh, or on this trials, we have these buttons on here with an equals, which is a copy, or a copy to T1, copy to final. All those are very easily to be able to be created. Uh, so for a button, all we're going to do is go back to this Edit Records. Let's add a field, and we'll call it a button. And we're going to call this button uh, 
Uh, first, we'll say previous. Uh, that's a common one if people want the previous. Uh, ever to get the previous button on any field, on any tab, you can always go to um, click the EHR at the top and import from last exam, which is the Alt F8. All this button is doing is basically just doing that command, that Alt F8. So to do that, we create the button. We'll call it previous. We're going to add a command. Then we click add command. It gives you, you want to do a field action or command. I'm going to say, we're going to do command. And the command at the bottom, preloaded, is the Alt F8, which is the previous. Or there's the different types of buttons. You can have it an import button if you have it directly linked. Uh, there's also some stuff coming out for the stimulus package for calculating the growth of the BMI, as well as having a files button and integration with a lot of different machines. So we're just going to say this Alt F8 key is going to be our previous. Minimize that down. I'm going to right click and say Add Field to Tab. So here's the previous. We also can adjust the length of that field if we want it smaller or shorter, again, with the plus or minus. So if this field would been Pre this page has been filled out previously, we get it the previous button, it'll automatically import from last exam. Another thing is a lot of officers ask is how to, when you fill out the records, does it transfer from one field to another? To do that, all we have to do is say add new field. Over here, uh, one is on here we have link to other field. So for instance, if we want whatever is put into field one to be sent to field two, we can say link to other field. I want to have this field go to field 1001, and it says which row. We'll say row 1, and we can either have it add to it or replace. So if we did that, anytime we fill that information on this field 1000, it's going to automatically be transferred to field 1001 and replace it, or it can be added directly to it. Uh, common reasons of using that is like in the refraction, a lot of people, when you put the auto refraction, have it automatically transferred to the manifest. And from the manifest, you can have that automatically transferred to the final, depending how you have your medical record set up. Go back to our testing page. So that's going to automatically link those. Uh, another thing that a lot of officers ask about is being able to have that button to where it automatically transfers to the final. For instance, on this refraction, we have what's called a finalized button right there. And we can create that one right now. So let's go to testing, and let's add a new field. We're going to call it finalize, and it's going to be a button. And then from here, we can say what type of button. Again, we're going to be doing a uh, add a command, and then say field action. In this field action, we're going to have several things that we're going to have happen. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this transfer. Let's say this test is actually the sphere, test two is the cylinder, and test three is the axis. So we're going to have that transferred to the final of the Rx. So let's say, let's link to Rx. Uh, first, here's the spectacle uh, sphere, Rx OD sphere, that's SDRx1, I'll just double click on that. So I want field, let me move this over so we can all see it on the same page want field 1000 to go to sphere X. So here's field action 1000, go to STRX1, save that. Let's add another one. Let's have field 1001, which was the test number two right here. We want that to go to the OD cylinder. So it's basically STRX2 and save that. And then lastly, we're going to say add field, the field of ID, the O2, the test 3. And we'll have that go to the axis, which is SPRX3. You can either double click on it, or I'm just going to change that to 3 and hit save. So it's going to automatically transfer to 1 to 2 to 3. Uh, then all I'm going to do is uh, add that field to the tab. So let's just say add field. We have that finalized button. And again, I'll highlight both of these and say let's make them the same width. Um, first, let me just demonstrate how that works, and I'll go and kind of show you a little bit more advanced stuff. So let's say stop editing save changes. You want to share these with Crystal PM? I'll say no. And now if I go back into records, any patient again. And then we go over to testing. So first, let's just show uh, on here if we put down any reading. As soon as we left it, we have that auto-replace. 
So it's going to automatically go from field 1 to field 2. And let's just say here, we're going to say field 1.5, and here we'll say 2.00. Uh, whatever numbers, I'm just putting them in here. When I hit this finalize button, it's going to automatically transfer it over to the final Rx 1, 1.5, and, and 2. That's essentially what adding the buttons to have that automatically transfer to the Rx.